Are you still going through all the webs to look for a pattern that you can create on your own? Mm -mm. Hey guys, it's Jim from Illustrator How. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to create a pattern in Adobe Illustrator. If that sounds interesting to you, please keep watching this video. Okay, so it's super easy to create a new pattern in Adobe Illustrator and you can turn any text or any shapes that you create or any vector graphics into a pattern. So I'm just going to show you a quick example here. I just created these uh, flowery graphic and I want to make it a pattern. So all I need to do is select everything. In your case, if you created an artwork and you want to turn it into a pattern, just select everything you want to show on the pattern and go to object, pattern and make. Then you will see the pattern options, which allows you to adjust how the pattern will look. Well, you can zoom out a little bit to see more or less how it will look. And here, okay, let's take a look at the options here. First, the pattern name, um, I'm just going to put flowers. And then you can choose the tile type as well. Right now it's grid, so as you can see, they are really like um, aligning to each other within the square, something like that. I often use this um, option. However, I'm going to show you the different options as well. You can also choose the tile type uh, brick by row. That's pretty nice as well. It really depends on what you're looking for. So here are the options, depending on how you want to align the pattern actually. Well, this one kind of uh, push the patterns together a little bit closer. However, if you don't want them to be so close, you can manually adjust their distance here as well. So let's say that you want it to be a little bit more separate. Maybe you can increase it a little bit or a little bit more even 500, something like that. So when you change the width and height here, it's actually changing the width and height of this tile box. And then the pattern will adjust based on the value that you input. If you want, you can also simply click size tile to art, which well, it was the original default setting. So everything will be really close to each other. Um, yeah. When you increase the height here, it's increasing the top and bottom. And if you increase the width here, it's increasing like uh, the sides. Okay. And then here you can choose the number of copies you want it to be. It all depending on uh, where you want to apply the pattern on if you want to choose more copies, you can just adjust it from here. And then if you want to edit any elements within the pattern, you can actually do that. Um, if you move around any element within the pattern, I mean, within the tile box, the pattern will change based on the changes that you made. You can also change the color. Well, no, I prefer the original color. So yeah, just to show you an example, um, and once you are happy with the pattern, how it looks, you can click done and you will see the pattern under the swatches panel. So let's give it a try. I'm going to create a rectangle since I already have the pattern selected. So you will see the, the pattern here. Let me select these and move it here. So as you resize the rectangle, you will see a larger area of the pattern. I know maybe it looks so big. So how do we change the pattern size? If you want to edit the pattern, you can go ahead and double click and it's going to take you back to the pattern options. You can resize it here as well. If you want to resize the elements. However, if you want to resize the whole pattern, the let's say the ratio, you actually need to right click, go to transform and choose scale. And then here is where you will be changing the size of the pattern. So if you want to increase the pattern size, you will be yeah, obviously increasing the percentage. However, if you want to make it a little bit smaller, I'm going to make it half 50 and make sure that in the options section, uncheck everything except for transform patterns and then click OK. Well, I mean, if you have the preview option clicked, you will see how the patterns look after it's uh, scaled down to 50%. You can make it a little bit smaller even and then just uh, 
click on the preview button again. So that's how it looks. Yeah, remember if you want to scale the pattern, right click and choose transform and scale and click OK. All right, now I'm going to show you an example of how to turn text into a pattern. If you want to turn any text into a pattern, which is quite useful if you are maybe designing a background for a, your brand event or like maybe the printing paper for packaging. If you want to do that, you can use exactly the same way. All you need to do instead of creating shapes, you will be adding text to Adobe Illustrator. I'm just going to show you an example here. I'm going to put just logo and then I'm going to just um, go to object pattern and make. So basically it did the same thing. Let me put logo. Then you can choose the tile type just as you would before. Yeah, basically it works the same. Mm. And uh, let's say I just want to change the color a little bit. Well, maybe I'm going to adjust the area a little bit more. And once you're happy with how it looks, just uh, click OK or done. And then if you want to use a pattern, same thing. If you want to apply to your background, let me delete this. I'm going to fill the whole artboard with the logo pattern. And all you need to do is uh, create a shape and then choose the pattern from the swatches panel. That's it. OK, now how about if you want to save these swatches that you just created. I mean, if you open a new document, it's not going to show on the swatches panel. Um, if you want to save them for future use, actually, you do need to um, save the swatches. Well, let me show you a trick here. You are going to delete all these and delete everything from here to here. Don't worry, it's going to come back when you open a new document. So for example, if you want to save these two patterns in a new swatch, all you need to do is, uh, yeah, leaving these two patterns here and then go to the swatch library menu and then save swatches. And then I'm going to put um, new swatch 001 and click save. And then I'm going to show you how you can find it if you want to use it in a new document. Simply create a new document. I'm just randomly creating a new document. And then you can find the new swatch that you created from the swatch libraries menu. User defined. And you can find the new swatch 001. There you go. You only see these two patterns here instead of like everything, you know. That's why I suggested that you should delete all these so that you don't see like what you see here. Feel free to use a new pattern you just created. Same thing, I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. Not that. Okay. All right, if you want to learn more about how to create a new pattern in Adobe Illustrator, I do have a tutorial as well showing you how to make a pattern in just four steps. I will have the link in the description below, so feel free to check it out. That's it. That's everything you need to know about making patterns in Adobe Illustrator. If you want to learn more about Illustrator Basics, I do have a course talking about all the Illustrator Basics from Tool Basics, Workspace Basics, and to more advanced stuff like uh, how to create a portfolio. So if that sounds interesting to you, I do have the link to the course in the description below. And as always, if you like this video, don't forget to give me a thumb up and hit the subscribe button.